Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Gemini October 2018 horoscope forecast. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, uh, first thing up is as far as October goes, the sun will be in Libra from the 1st until the 23rd. So the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on love, romance, uh, enjoyment, things of amusement, uh, hobbies, creative endeavors, love interests. Um, it could also um, be about personal popularity uh, as well. And given that this is um, Libra energy, I mean, the personal popularity can be done with a, with very strong intellectual sociability and a very strong need uh, to perhaps ingratiate with others in order to attain greater personal popularity. But in general, the, the uh, fifth house energy can be done with a lot of being in, being that the sons and labor could be done with a lot of uh, diplomacy, tact, weighing the pros and cons of things. Um, very charming manner, again, the intellectual sociability, but with a lot of ambivalence and indecision, perhaps uh, as well. And a lot of, in, in, in doing it a lot of, in a very fair and equitable uh, manner, dispersing energy very evenly, perhaps in a number of fifth house matters. So anyway, next thing up is, as far as October goes, the sun will be in Scorpio from the 23rd until the 31st. So the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on health, um, work, and, and employment, uh, the daily routine, um, an aunt and uncle perhaps, it could be pets as well, uh, health hygiene, and also service uh, as well. And given uh, this is Scorpio energy, this could be done with a very intractable, very willful manner, and also with a lot of resourcefulness. There could be a need for transformation, and it might be especially true in work or health-related uh, matters, but also done with a lot of willpower and a lot of resiliency, and also with a lot of probing and investigative uh, energy as well and going very deep going beyond subterfuge and superficiality so anyway well the next thing up is there will be a new moon in Libra on October 8th so the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted so at this time well this could be a time where you might begin uh, some new uh, Libra-like uh, hobby. It could be something where balance needs to be attained, like something with skating or even doing something on a balancing beam. I don't know if anyone's going to walk on a tightrope, but you understand what I'm saying. It could be something connected with art, such as painting, drawing, sculpting. Um, in some cases, this could be the birth of a, of a child. Um, it could be a, of a Libra child at this time. Um, since, of course, the sun and the moon will be uh, in Libra. Uh, it could also be the beginning, and for some people, of a new uh, romance. It could be with a Libra, sun, moon, or ascendant, or it could simply be with someone that embodies Libra-like characteristics, someone very charming, tactful, diplomatic, strongly about intellectual sociability, very fair and equitable, etc. And Anyway, and this could also be, in some cases, uh, this may manifest as something where um, maybe a new invest, something of a speculative nature might be embarked on, but something where you weighed a lot of pros and cons on, or you might have been somewhat ambivalent and decisive about uh, prior to it. It could be some kind of investment that is connected with something Libra-related, such as something uh, with art and beauty, or beauty, I should say. So anyway, well, the next thing up is um, the full moon. There will be a full moon in Taurus on October 24th. So the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Well, uh, this is interesting. This could manifest in a multitude of ways. I mean, this could be a time where you might simply become tired, uh, full, so to speak, exasperated, uh, maybe at a limiting monetary situation. It could be over a um, 
an aunt or an uncle or someone prominent in your private life that might be overly obstinate, stubborn, unyielding, overly fixed in what they believe, and, and maybe someone that just doesn't really very sedentary or stagnant, doesn't really want to um, really do much. It could be a person uh, that might actually, I mean, in some cases you might, this could also be a revelation or unveiling of a of a Taurus, a hidden adversary in some cases. It could be a Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Taurus-like uh, characteristics. It could be the completion or culmination of something that you did in solitude and seclusion that may have been um, Taurus-like. It could have been something connected with some architecture or some gardening or some kind of art project. It's something that may just simply have required a lot of endurance and a lot of latent Taurus-like energy and it might be where you might become tired or full of maybe an aunt or uncle or someone prominent in your private life that might be exhibiting a lot of avaricious acquisitive and as i stated before about the stubborn obstinate quality so anyway next thing up is mercury will be in libra as far as october goes from the first until the ninth so the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time you might find yourself talking and very uh really speaking with um children romantic partners people that you might share some kind of a creative endeavor or hobby with very tactful diplomatic manner it could be where the conversations might be very uh, might be very peaceful with these people but there might be a lot of indecision and ambivalence over fifth house matters such as things of a speculative nature some kind of investing and also uh really uh do, talking and, and really socializing in a way where you're maybe you're ingratiating yourselves with others in order to improve personal popularity again mercury can also be about other things it could be about siblings so it could be that libra siblings might figure prominently in your enjoyment um yeah, in a hobby or creative endeavor or even something in terms of a, of a speculative nature they might be trying to offer uh, their thoughts on that it could be uh, Libra Sun Moon or Ascendant people or simply ones that embody Libra like characteristics anyway next thing up is Mercury will be in Scorpio as far as October goes from the 9th until the 31st so the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time you might find yourself uh really uh having a lot of very deep provocative insightful and even incisive conversations perhaps with an aunt or an uncle people prominent in your daily routine it could be people in your health or work life and also too uh, you might find at this time where your mind uh, might be very you might be very probing in terms of health uh, and work related matters at this time as well and again that mercury can also be uh, about other things such as siblings it could be that uh, that uh, Scorpio siblings might figure prominently more in your daily routine than usual it could be in matters pertaining to service or some work related uh, matter uh, they could be Scorpio Sun Moon or Ascendant people or simply ones that embody Scorpio like characteristics and you might find yourself talking about more Scorpio like things with an aunt or uncle people in your daily routine your work and your health life could be matters such as astrology the occult supernatural things that are very uh, deep things connected with investigation uh, things that are associated perhaps with transformation such as like recycling or rebuilding uh, something matters uh, in deep subjects matters connected with death perhaps as well anyway next thing up is Venus will be in Scorpio and uh, it'll be retrograde from the set from like the 6th to the 31st and again the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time you might find yourself really valuing going beyond a uh, subterfuge and superficiality in health and work related matters uh, you might also find yourself where if you're unattached at this time uh, Gemini that you might connect uh, with the Scorpio Sun Moon or Ascendant uh, it could be someone in your daily routine someone at your place of employment or maybe uh, 
It could even be somebody prominent in your health life, such as someone you might meet at a health and fitness place. Or it could simply be one that a person that it could be a Scorpio Sun Moon or Ascendant or simply one that embodies Scorpio like characteristics. Also, too, uh, this could be about um, given that this is going to be retrograde for a good part of the month. This could be about going back to a uh, maybe a Scorpio love that was in your daily routine at one time. And also, too, you might find yourself uh, enjoying uh, playing uh, maybe Scorpio like games, maybe with an aunt or an uncle, or maybe at work uh, with someone you know. It could be even something like a Ouija board or something connected uh, with astrology or some CSI or some kind of detective uh, board or computer game. Uh, and also, it could be about valuing the transformation of your health, is how this could manifest as well, as far as Venus and Scorpio and the sixth house. Hold on a second, people. Again, sorry about that. Well, next thing up is uh, Mars will be in Aquarius, and the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, you may find yourself uh, injecting a lot of uh, selfless and humanitarian energy into matters with in-laws and grandchildren. Uh, this could be a time, too, where you might find yourself being embroiled more with fights uh, with friends. It could be over philosophical uh, issues. Uh, you might see um, it could be a time, too, where... Um, you could really, uh, you might find yourself uh, doing, uh, putting a lot of energy into something Aquarius-like that could be uh, connected with higher education, it could be something connected with computers, electronics, uh, esoteric subjects such as astrology, um, aerospace, or astronomy even. Uh, you might find that situations with uh, in-laws and grandchildren may be more contentious and acrimonious uh, than usual. You might find yourself becoming more angry at idiosyncratic, bizarre, or unusual behavior from these people uh, as well. And you might be finding yourself too, it might manifest in putting a lot of energy, but might be sporadic and erratic energy into publishing higher education, things that are connected uh, with the ninth house in general. Anyway, Next thing up is Jupiter will be in Scorpio still. So the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. And as I've talked about in previous videos, that uh, Jupiter can be somewhat a paradoxical, it can be very benign and benevolent, but it could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand. And it may very well expand surreptitious, even nefarious activity in your daily routine. It could be in your work and employment life, uh, someone that might be prominent in your health uh, life as well or someone you may be rendering service to uh, some cases too uh, this could also expand Scorpio health related issues such as something with the pelvic area uh, the bladder or um, or the urinary tract now also uh, this may manifest perhaps in maybe in some cases a sex scandal unveiled at work are going and really having a lot of exuberance and enthusiasm in Scorpio uh, like uh, matters. It might be something work related. It could be just something that you incorporate in your daily routine. It could be something like astrology, the occult supernatural or locksmithing, some kind of investigation, uh, something that could be uh, magic or something Scorpio related in general. And it could also manifest perhaps in developing a very profound in deep philosophy regarding uh, your health and regarding as far as um, maybe 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 not your uh, your work life uh, to some degree as well anyway next thing up is Saturn will be in Capricorn still so the eighth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time you might find yourself uh, Dealing with more uh, restrictions and limitations as far as emotional and moral support goes, even monetary support. I'm actually having this transit now, actually. It, Saturn is in my eighth house right now as far as transit goes. And when, I mean, when this hits, I mean, it, it's almost I, like you can't even count on any kind of like really getting moral or emotional support 
uh, from somebody. I mean, like a classic response it seems I can get from people at this time is, well, gee, that's life. Uh, you get used to it or something, and, and people just kind of uh, really just aren't there. And especially with Capricorn, this could be a lot of, you know, you might be feeling, well, you're getting the cold shoulder in terms of getting any kind of sympathy or moral support and a lot of cold and callous energy blended with this. It also could be a period, though, of really, um, in some cases, where you might find yourself taking care of a sickly or debilitated sexual partner or someone you're in an intimate relationship with. It could be something Capricorn related, such as something with the knees, the bones, or the joint, and might be making you feel somewhat melancholy and despondent. Older people may figure prominently making a major change or transformation. Uh, libido might even be uh, diminished uh, at this time uh, as well. But it, and also you might feel like there's some kind of uh, really uh, really might be a time where you're taking a lot of responsibility in matters with taxes and insurance matter uh, or even inheritance at this time. There might be some restrictions as far as this goes uh, as well. So anyway, and I would say um, next thing up. Uranus will be in Taurus, so the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, you might find yourself having some kind of very unusual persistent dreams, or maybe your sleep is going through certain disruptions at this time, and you're, it might be too, this may manifest in your um, mean, uh, having erratic and sporadic uh, private life and maybe even disruptions uh, to this. Uh, another way this might manifest perhaps is perhaps they're expressing uh, ingenuity and solitude and seclusion and the formulation perhaps of new monetary ideas in private. You might be experiencing shocking behavior from, from aunts or uncles at this time as well. Uh, it could be too that in some cases uh, Taurus friendships might actually be hidden adversaries. I mean, they could be Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Taurus-like uh, characteristics, or it could simply be that Taurus friendships might factor in uh, very prominently, more so in your private life than usual. And also, uh, the, the another way this could uh, manifest, perhaps, is really um, maybe coming up with new uh, maybe formulating some new ideas uh, monetarily, maybe to help others that are less fortunate than yourself, such as the impoverished, the oppressed, the homeless, and hungry. Anyway, next thing up is Neptune will be in Pisces still. So the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, you might uh, find that perhaps 10th uh, house people, such as the dominant parent, which is often the father, uh, authority figures, someone prominent in your um, career, uh, maybe somewhat nebulous and unclear at this time. This could be, in some cases, the dissipation or dissolving of the relationship uh, with these people. Your own reputation, public image, you might feel might be somewhat dissolving and dissipating at this time. Or you may simply become interested doing something Neptune-like as far as a career interest. It could be something connected with photography, chemistry, special effects, the metaphysical, which could include astrology. Um, it could be helping people dealing with uh, drug or alcohol addictions. Uh, and um, really, uh, and, and also, too, you might be dealing with some kind of deception and duplicity, perhaps, um, as far as 10th house people go uh, at this time. And again, it may be very difficult to read them, as Neptune can often do this and make things very uh, nebulous and uh, unclear. So anyway... Next thing up is Pluto will be in Capricorn still, so the 8th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. At this time, you might find yourself dealing, um, in some cases, I know a lot of you don't want me to say the dreaded D word, but you know I'm going to do it anyway, that it could actually reflect an actual uh, literal death of somebody that you're in an intimate or sexual relationship with, or someone you're in a shared resources situation with. This could be uh, situation too where you might be dealing with upheavals and power struggles with someone you're in an intimate or sexual relationship with this might signify 
uh, possible surgery at this time since we're talking about Pluto and the eighth house it could be something Capricorn related such as the knees the bones the joints or the skin at the same time on a, a positive end this could be an opportunity perhaps to eradicate some kind of credit card debt or some kind of issues connected with insurance or taxes at this time you may also be dealing with um, in some cases say there might be some destructive psychological uh, issues at this time as well but also wanting to have very deep uh, sexual uh, relationships at this time and also guard against becoming overly controlling or domineering in a matter in a shared resources situation or even with someone you're in an intimate or sexual relationship with anyway next thing up is okay um the north node will be in leo still so the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time you might be uh experimenting when you're talking about the north node in transit this could be about issues one may have to address and confront this could be in some cases about having to address or confront uh perhaps somebody uh that might be very uh overbearing arrogant extravagant bombastic a flamboyant it could be a, a sibling a cousin a neighbor somebody you know uh, that, that that's prominent in your short journeys uh, this could also manifest in some cases about taking a lot of pride in dignity in matters uh, with uh, with transportation it could be also about showing generosity in third house matters it could be fixing a vehicle that kind of gets you to and from work uh, for example or or for others uh showing magnanimous energy and remember given that you're gemini uh it's uh, i mean gemini could be very dexterous so it could really work out very well gemini is often very good with the hands and can do and often very proficient i call it the art of auto mechanics uh also too you might find yourself being drawn or directed toward uh really um expressing a lot of a uh, creative writing and perhaps a lot of self-assuredness and confidence in that as well and also wanting to be praised and lauded uh for third house matters such as matters pertaining to communication and maybe things that you do for cousins siblings and uh neighbors as well hold on a second again people sorry about that anyway next thing up is the black moon lilith will be in aquarius still so the ninth house is well be emphasized and highlighted so at this time well you might find yourself at this time you're talking about the black moon uh lilith it could be about what could put one in a strong state of fear and trepidation well in some cases this could be about maybe losing uh the freedom to expand one's horizons or having simply an overly unorth uh, overly orthodox or boring or uh, just just general um like mundane philosophy or outlook um could also be in some cases i mean you're talking about the black moon lilith uh you don't um uh, it could be about an unveiling or revelation of something or, or i should say something that kind of comes out of the bag so to speak that you didn't want to come out but it may come out anyway it could be over some really unusual or bizarre uh philosophical outlook um it could also be maybe uh maybe something um maybe there's something with an in-law or a grandchild that might be unusual or bizarre and unorthodox that you didn't want anyone to know about but it does come out and also too you might find yourself uh you know really you might see an in-law or a grandchild or someone you know at a religious congregation or a college university might be expressing some very strong idiosyncratic bizarre or unusual behavior at this time this could also be about the emergence so to speak of maybe a formidable aquarius adversary it could be an aquarius sun moon or ascendant or simply one that embodies aquarius like characteristics it could be somebody that you know at a college university a religious congregation it could be a foreigner uh somebody 
uh, that it could be an in-law, it could be a grandchild. So anything a ninth house related, it, it could be connect, person could be connected with. Now, last but not least, uh, Chiron will be in Pisces still, so the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. At this time, uh, you may be dealing with some, uh, I mean, there's, this could be about dealing with emotional wounds and suffering connected with deception and duplicity uh, with the dominant parent, which is often the father. Uh, there might be, this could be also about dealing with unrealistic uh, career uh, aspirations. And also, too, you might be, in some cases, this could be dealing with something kind of like slanderous that might have affected your uh, reputation and public image. And it might be where, where your career outlook looks very nebulous at this time and unclear. And also, there might be some confusion you're dealing with and how to improve your social status and stature uh, in life at this time. And, uh, and the thing uh, about this, uh, too, is that um, remember that when you're talking about, I mean, you're talking about a um, Chiron in astrology that, I mean, it is the wounded healer. So in ways that you might be going through some suffering and some difficulties in connection with Chiron and Pisces and the 10th house, you could help others out dealing with comparable situations and do so with a lot of Pisces like empathy, compassion, uh, self-sacrifice and even idealism anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Gemini October 2018 horoscope forecast stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my cancer October 2018 horoscope forecast two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well